Hey what's up everyone, I'm Silent Core and welcome to another Sims 4 video. And I've had a lot of people ask me what sort of games I'm going to be covering in the future of my channel and it really just depends on what I'm really interested in and I'm going to be covering a lot of new and upcoming games, that's going to be the focus and of course I'm going to be covering tips, tricks or information or purely just news. Now The Sims 4 is definitely something that interests me, I've played it all the way from The Sims 1, I really love this game. So do let me know in the comments if you have also played The Sims. So in this video I want to do something a little bit different, I actually want to go through 6 things that will not be in The Sims 4, confirm not be in The Sims 4. So if you do enjoy this video be sure to leave it a like and maybe I'll do another video and show some awesome things that will be included in The Sims 4. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first confirmed fact is there'll be no create a style or a colour wheel in The Sims 4. And you'll see in the background footage this is some Sims 4 gameplay from the uh, demo for the Create a Sim. The next fact is one that actually started quite a lot of controversy and that is the fact that there's going to be no pools or toddlers in The Sims 4. So the thought of there being no pools in the base game is just really weird to me, that's always been a thing I've always done in The Sims. I've always loved to kill people in the pool, it's just a lot of fun to have. To make big mansions with pools, it's just what you do. And then again, toddlers have not been included just because of the pure workload and all the different animations they've had to build in The Sims 4. So I believe when you have a kid in The Sims 4, it's just going to go from being a baby to a child, which does miss quite, I guess, an important uh, growth stage, which was the toddlers. But I guess, in reality, the toddler didn't really do that much. But it is still a bit of a noticeable gap going all the way from a baby to an actual child. Next up, it's been confirmed that teens, young adults, adults and elders will all um, share the same height. They're all going to have different sort of frames in the way they're built, but they're actually all going to be um, the same height. And one of the Sims gurus basically just confirms this is because there's so many animations for each height stage that they've had to compact these all into the same one. And I also thought I'd bring your attention to this post where the Sims confirmed that the reason why they had to cut some things from the game is just to do with their new technology and their systems that they've built. You know, they've built a whole new base game for the Sims, so it really does look pretty awesome and sound pretty awesome. But it is a shame that they've had to make some cuts from the actual base game. Moving on, it's been confirmed that there will be no swimwear in the base game. You'll also notice in the Create a Sim demo, there was no sort of selection of swimwear that we have seen in previous Sims. So in the base game, there's not going to be any sort of public swimming pools or anywhere that we would need um, swimwear on. So the swimming outfit has actually been removed from the base game completely. Next up, it's been confirmed that The Sims 4 will not contain any basements or circular stairs. And the last fact I have for you all is that the height for houses has still been confirmed to be three different levels or stories or floors. Now interestingly one of the Sims gurus did confirm that maybe modders could tweak the values. I think this is the same for the last few Sims. Um, you can get mods that allow you to make extra levels on your houses that you can in the base game. So it's likely going to be the same for the Sims 4 if mods are your thing. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. I'm really looking forward to this game. Let me know if you are too. Don't forget to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos like this one. My social media links will also be in the description. Have yourselves an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.